Hello and thank you for coming to my channel. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I know you like this video and leave a comment down below because I do interact and I will read and answer your comment and I can interact with you and get to know you and you can get to know me. So as you see by the title of this video, I will be doing a video of these things that I personally wish I knew before starting nursing school. Now a little background history on me. I just graduated from an ADN program in this past December, on December 16th. So I was in nursing school for two years. I'm currently studying for my boards and will be a nurse in February. Um, well, January, starting out working in February. That's neither here nor there. But anyhow, if you are interested in this video, then keep on watching. So starting out, first thing I would say is make sure that you are mentally and financially prepared. What do I mean by mentally and financially prepared? So obviously nursing school does cost money, 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 and more money. It costs a lot of money to be in nursing school and to be staying in nursing school. So different things that you may want to think about is do you have the funds for all the books, um, any nursing supplies you may need, um, are you going to be working during nursing school or not working? Starting out during nursing school, um, I was working usually my regular hours, so close to full-time hours. And then as I progressed in my program, I went to working like few hours and then less hours. And probably I would say my last semester, I was hardly working ever as a CNA. So it's really important to know where you stand financially. Um, if you, you know, do you need to work? Can you work? You know, those types of things are good things to already have an answer to before you start out um, because nursing school is a lot. It takes a lot out of you, literally. Um, and you just may want to know that. See, I was staying at home with my parents, and so I was able to have that flexibility in my financial income. But if you are living alone or you have kids or a family, then you may not have that flexibility as well. So that's just something to think about. Um also mentally wise it again takes a lot out of you i probably will say that throughout the video how it takes a lot out of you but it takes a lot out of you um honestly it was very draining it's so rewarding it's so rewarding let me say that but it does it does it can become draining it can um so i would just make sure you're mentally in a good spot you're mentally ready to fight to push through whether you are doing an adm program whether you're going through a BSM program, which I might say I do salute anyone who goes through a BSM program. I initially started out in a BSM program and realized quickly it was too much. We were taking like a lot of classes in that BSM program per semester. And I quickly realized like it was too much for me and my mental health and my sanity. And I just needed to do an ADM program first. So um, whichever route you go, we're all nurses. So at the end of the day, being a nurse is the only thing that matters. It does not matter how you got your nursing degree. It does not matter what school you went to. It's just a wonderful thing to be a nurse. So um, just make sure you're okay with what you're about to go through because it is going to be a roller coaster. There are going to be some good days, some bad days, some highs, some lows. Um, you may want to throw in the towel a couple of times, not may, you will want to throw in the towel a couple of times, but you just have to keep your sanity and keep it together. And following up with that, next thing I would say is make sure you are grounded and you have a great support system. I can say that I had a phenomenal support system, my friends, my family, my faith, it all really did keep me grounded into me being successful throughout nursing school. Even when I decided to switch schools um, from a BSN and go to an ADM program, my family was very supportive of that decision. My friends were very supportive. And um, I literally can say I had support the whole way, whether I was crying to my mom at night, whether I was talking to my friends who are also nursing school, like about the struggles and where we, whether I was laughing with friends or crying. I had a great support system. So you want to make sure you have a great support system because you cannot do nursing school alone. You need to have support outside of a nursing and inside a nursing program. Um, the difference because outside support, they help, you know, keep you grounded in regular life. Like my family and my faith was great. 
Um, my parents were wonderful and phenomenal. They helped me stay rooted. They always reminded me that God, you know, would never put more on me than I can bear. They definitely encouraged me the whole way. They pushed me the whole way. I had friends who did the same, but there comes a time in nursing school when your family or friends who aren't in nursing school or who have never gone through that process will not understand what you are going through because, um, you know, anyone who's gone through what you're going through completely understands exactly what you're feeling. And so there were times when I was like frustrated with an exam and stuff. And I remember like sometimes my parents would be like, oh, maybe the teacher will throw those questions out. Oh, maybe she'll give you extra credit. I remember my dad would be like, she just needs to pass the whole class. And I constantly had to remind my parents, it is not like that. Nursing school is not like that. You do not easily just get like a pass. You do not easily just, why is my dog barking? I will never know. You do not even, um, you do not easily just get a pass. You do not easily just get like a boost. They don't just throw some points in. They don't always throw questions out. Like I had to explain that to my parents. This is different. Um, versus, you know, having people in the nursing program as a support system, whenever I wasn't doing my best, they pushed me like, hey, we need to go harder. When I didn't pass a uh, exam and I was really scared because I didn't think I was going to pass the semester. Those friends in the program were great where they pushed me and they were like, no, we can do this. We'll study together. Um, they stayed up late with me studying, vice versa. So it was great having support system outside of the program and in the program. And I can say I have certainly built lifelong friendships with different nursing peers of mine that I graduated with. We certainly still talk to this day. Um, so you just need basically a balance. It's good to have a balance between outside of nursing school support system and support inside a nursing program because you will need to have a study group. Um, team projects are everywhere. You're going to have a project almost every semester. I know I did at least now, at least you're going to have at least one project. So projects are important. Teamwork is very important. That's nursing field. So hey, get ready for teamwork, get ready for having that support system. The third thing I would probably say is to be organized. Um, I'd like to think of myself as a pretty organized person. I mean, <laughs> I'm no neat person. I'm not like super organized down to the T. I don't have all my T's dotted and I's crossed. I'm not that organized, I'm not gonna lie. But I feel like I was pretty organized, um, which, helped me a lot because if you're not organized at all you're gonna get organized um but what i found easy was to have a planner so if you've seen my nursing school essentials video which i do have a lot of videos i'll post them up in my um in the cards above like nursing school essentials um different videos like that for you starting out our post but this was in that and this is a planner this is actually a two-year planner i had a planner every semester in nursing school it was helpful to plan all of my um class dates all of my clinicals exams <laughs> fall break um it was just helpful exams fall breaks any assignments i had due discussion board posts anything like that it was super helpful um and it kept me organized not only with regular nursing school life but um my regular nursing school life it not only helped me in nursing school but my general life just because as you can see like september was a busy month with me not only with nursing school but like personal life and it helped me stay organized so that i can know okay maybe i shouldn't do this because i have an exam the next day or it's okay for me to go to work because i don't have an exam for the next week so it helped me you know plan my life out because we will get into that earlier, but you do need a life. So yeah, I would suggest staying organized, have a planner, um, definitely taking multiple classes at once, especially if you are in a BSN program. It will be super hard with all the assignments and exam dates. Um, you will get confused, you will get very frustrated, you will fall behind, you will miss something. So you must stay organized. You really need a planner. I mean. I can sit here and say, hey, don't use a planner. I can sit here and say, you got this. You can just remember in your mind, but you can't. I'm not going to lie to you. You cannot remember everything in your mind that you need to for nursing school assignment-wise and still 
keep all the information with nursing school in your head and zero out outside life. You can't. It's impossible. I'm telling you that. Like, seriously, it's impossible. So just save yourself a headache. Save yourself from the tears and just, just get a planner from day one. So going on to the fourth thing was don't forget that you need to have a social life, but you need to have a balance. Um, and I knew that th through nursing school, a lot of people... You know, before nursing school, it would be like, oh, enjoy your life because you're not going to have a life anymore. And nursing school is life, which it is. Um, but no, seriously, you can have, um, you can seriously have a social life. You just have to be organized, see there, and stay planned. Um, so I work, I'm active in my church and outside um, ministries and things like that. So I was able to stay organized and be social, but I had to make sure that my priorities were taken care of. So I do agree nursing school is life. Um, you spent certainly a lot of money and time and investment into being in nursing school. Do not blow it or do not waste that opportunity or anything of the sort by being a social butterfly. Um, it's okay to go out and have fun, to party, to spend time with family and friends, but you need to have a line drawn when you know that you cannot do that because you have nursing school. Um, for instance, being organized, I think like um, I had, what is it? I'm trying to think of something on my calendar because I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but like I think I had something to do one day and I'm trying to see. Maybe I should go earlier on into semester. September. Here we go. September. I, for instance, one week I was like booked. And I say booked because I had like something every day of the week. And it came to Friday. I had to do day of service for five hours to get my community service. And then Saturday I had a birthday party to attend. But that following Monday I had an exam. Um. So personally, because I had planned this out and when they gave me my syllabus in the beginning I wrote all my exams down and stuff so I was already on target already on schedule what I personally did is I made sure that okay hey I seen I had an exam on the Monday but I knew I was going to a birthday party Saturday that would basically I knew I wasn't going to do any studying Saturday for the most part so what I did is I made sure that while my week was fully booked I did adequate studying Monday to Friday so that came Sunday I wasn't killing myself trying to study a lot for a Monday exam so like month that previous Monday for instance I had class um for an hour so I like basically studied that afternoon um Tuesday and Wednesday we had class in the morning so I studied that afternoon Thursday we had all day clinical but I made sure I studied that night and then Friday I studied before the community service I studied after community service and then Saturday I did probably stay up Saturday midnight ish into Sunday morning studying a little bit and then I finished studying off Sunday and I believe I got an 80 or 80 it's an, it was an 80 something um maybe an 84 I don't recall but I had passed that second exam. So you wanna make sure you stay organized because you can have a social life. You can go to social gatherings, but just make sure you, um, you're planned, you're organized, and keep nursing school a priority. Um, there were some things like, I think I had like a meeting. Yeah, so like the end of September, I had a meeting um, to go to on the Saturday, but I had another exam on the Monday and I knew personally that we know that subject was not my strongest strongest suit. So what I did is I um, I skipped the meeting because I could um, on Saturday so that I can dedicate Saturday studying. Now granted, if something's really important to you and you can't study, um, I'm not saying don't go to it, but make sure you're just putting your time in, into nursing school as well. Because um, I can say that starting out in the program, I did have um there were some of um pairs peers i get peer pairs <laughs> there were some peers of mine in nursing school who started out the program with us but were unsuccessful because in the beginning semesters they were i don't want to say they weren't um a go-getter per se but 
they put more of their energy into their social life. So they knew they had exams for nursing school, but instead of studying for exams, they were out partying, hanging with family and friends. And you think you can do it all, but something's gonna catch the slack. Um, just coming from personal experience, cause I can't say I always put nursing school first. There were times certainly towards the end of my program where I was like, you know what, forget it. I just need social time because you do need a break. You can't study 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's not possible. But um, you do need to have that balance. Cause you know, like I said, there were times where I, you know, um, said, okay, I'll do this with my family and then I'll study and I didn't study and I pay for it in the end on my exam. And so I did have friends like that in the earlier semesters where um, that basically happened to them and they were unable to pass the course because it was a cycle of, oh, I'll just study or I'll do better on the next exam. And then before you knew it, the semester was over and they were unsuccessful. So I just don't want that to happen to you. You just need to have a balance, plain and simple. Balance is key. So the next thing I would say is, I'm not even keeping track. So I'm trying to make sure I don't repeat myself, but I would say be prepared for having to know a lot about a lot. Um, so of course I knew nursing school is nursing school. It's huge, it's life. I knew all these things before, but I really didn't know what to expect. And even me telling you right now what to expect, you're not gonna understand what I mean until you're in it. Um, so I didn't know I was gonna have to know so much about so much. I mean, I could literally bore you to death in an hour and tell you different things we learned in nursing school and still wouldn't have covered it all. You're basically gonna learn a lot of information in a short amount of time um, and you're just gonna deal with it and be okay. So. Um, again, it comes down to having that balance. So obviously you can't know everything. You can't know a whole textbook front to back, back to front. Um, but in nursing school, you need to be able to know how to balance material and you need to know when it's important and when it's not important. And so having to know a lot about a lot, um, I had to, I struggled in nursing school because I wanted to know everything and like studying for exams, I tried to know everything. And this kind of gets into the next point, which we can combine. You don't know, you won't know everything, um, because I just I tried. I tried to know everything. I tried to make sure I had all my stuff, all my bases covered when it came to an exam, and it just doesn't happen that way. Um, unfortunately, that's how nursing school works for a majority of people. You won't be able to know everything. You won't be able to obtain everything. You do just you just do the best you can. Um, I'm not a reader, so reading and skimming the book was hard. Um, it was just hard, you know, but um, you just, you gotta, I don't know how to explain it, like, cause you have to experience it for yourself, but I just had to figure out the balance of like what I needed to know versus what I don't need to know. So some teachers were very gracious and I love those um, where they were like, oh, this is nice to know. This is mm, okay to know. And this is a need to know. Some teachers were like that. And then some teachers told you about everything. You just had to figure out mm, what's need to know, what's nice to know. And that's the struggle because at the end of the day, each unit exam is based on the teacher's opinion. So what you may think personally is a need to know may not be the teacher's need to know. And that's just kind of you having a vibe off the teacher to figure out where they, you know, lie their focus on. So that's kind of the tricky part, but um, you can do it. You can do it. Just keep going. Um, but no, seriously, I think that's what I wish I would have known because I didn't think I had to know so much. And a nurse, You'll probably learn this in nursing school, but a nurse is kind of like the center of teamwork. So the nurse is obviously responsible for the patient, but you have to interact with the doctor. You're the doctor's eyes and ears. You are your patient's advocate. You have to talk to like different other healthcare teams like respiratory and um, PT and OT. And you have to like, you're the center of collaborating all these other aspects of healthcare to your patient and so you have to know okay hey yeah i need pt to come work with my patient um because they had a knee amputation but i know my patient 
suffers with depression so i may need them to talk to a counselor but i need to be careful because they have orthostatic hypotension and you know like this just or they have like a heart condition with you like it's just a lot of things you have to know about to be able to handle different things thrown at you um so you just gotta know a lot about a lot plain and simple um other things i wish i would have known is it's not as bad as it seems i thought i was going to die i thought it was the end of the world um it's not um you just gotta stay focused be determined um something that i did is in the beginning i wrote out like my first semester i wrote on a piece of paper my goals, my reasons for doing nursing school, things to motivate me throughout the program. And whenever I needed a kick, a push, I would look at that and be like, okay, this is why you're doing it. This is your motivation to get it done. Um, even in my last semester, I remember using the simple fact of that I had told everybody I was graduating in December as my motivation to not give up in my last semester. Cause I don't like disappointing people. And I was like, well, you told everybody, you better graduate. So just use simple things like that. Whatever you can find, use it as your motivation to get you through it because you will need motivation, whether it's exercising, eating healthy, um, shopping, you know, shopping, um, watching TV, reading a book, listening to music, podcasts, whatever you do, pet therapy. Certainly Chloe came into effect semester two when I needed her the most. Um, seriously, no, whatever you need to get you through use it as motivation so i would just find that motivation and have it set in the beginning so it can keep you sustained throughout the whole program um i hear in the beginning that you know the semester and the programs will go by fast i didn't think so to me it felt like an eternity but no it actually did starting out like i feel like i kind of just started a year ago it was crazy to even think that i started this over two years ago um and that i was done so it definitely flies by time flies when you're having fun right yeah um but no it did fly by um no regrets um obviously i mean there's certain things studying wise again if i knew better i would do better but um i don't have any regrets um it flown by but it was the best two years of my life certainly an experience one of a kind um another thing i wish i would have known before nursing school is that you kind of gotta figure out you and i say that in a way because this kind of goes into the other thing like find out what you like in life what's your passion um i have heard from people who started out nursing school um, that they thought this was for them and then once they were in they realized this wasn't for them or I you know have found out people realize oh, okay I'm this type of person versus this type of person what I mean by that is nursing school can make or break you it usually makes you hardly ever does it break you per se um, but studying wise I had to figure out what was a best way for me to study sorry my dog um need to be let out but um just because this video is long i am going to wrap this up but by the final thing i personally wish i knew before i started nursing school and that is um mm, who's a good one to end it off do not compare um it will be very challenging at times when you are struggling i mean you may be one of the nursing school to fly by nursing school flying colors if that's you then you can just end the video here but um no it does bring out um your strength and your weakness and it does have pressure on you and sometimes in nursing school we get so caught up with gpas and who has a better grade on an exam that you can feel pressure all of this extra pressure to pass an exam all this well that's important but um pressure to like pass an exam with a 90 versus an 84 um pressure to have all a's and no b's um you can do it but i just want you to be realistic and don't compare yourself um there were times in my program where i got a's in nursing school and then there were 
more times where I got B's. But at the end of the day, I graduated. I will be a nurse when I take my boards next week. And I'm going to be working in the emergency in February. So it's not like, you know, they, you know, ask my school, did she graduate by just making it or did she pass her flying colors? Obviously, I do understand the grade point average from a point of perspective. If you do want to further your education into a master's program, there are some master programs that are very competitive and do require you to have a higher GPA. And that is understandable as well. Um, but it's just don't compare yourself. That's what I'm just trying to get at. Um, I didn't mean to get off topic with GPAs and stuff, but just don't compare yourself. Um, it can be used for motivation because it was motivational at times where, you know, there was one time where I got a being very transparent i got like a 60 something on a unit exam and i was the lowest score in the class and it made me feel really low but i used it as motivation where i was like i never would experience that feeling ever again and i never did um now i may have been close to being the lowest but i was never the lowest and there's nothing wrong with it but it i just used it as motivation to get me going and i was like okay you need to study harder on this next exam i want to see a 90 and i actually remember that semester the next exam I actually did get a 92 so i use that 66 as motivation for my 92 so sometimes it's good to compare yourself because you can use it for motivational but then sometimes you will beat down on yourself because it's like why is everybody else getting 88 to 90s and i'm only getting 84 it's okay as long as you're passing, as long as you pass, as long as you make it, as long as you graduate, honey, that's all that matters. And I just don't want you to get bombarded and sidetracked with all the hustle and bustle studying where you feel like you need to get this and you need to get that. Just make sure that you do what you need to do to pass, graduate, and everything else will fall into line. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that out of this long drawn video that if you stay to the end, you subscribe, you give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like it. But no, seriously, I do hope that you were able to take away at least one point from this video um, to help you in nursing school. And if I helped you, um, just let me know. If you already graduated nursing school, leave some feedback in the comments down below. Tell me some things that you wish you had known so we can compare and contrast. And um, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.